Marcel yesterday said, I don't want to hear any of that. We're not great. We weren't great last year. What, what, what's your, you know, as players, what, what is your take coming into the camp? What do you expect out of this defense? I mean, yeah, Coach, Coach Yates is right. You know, we got a lot to work on. We did a lot in the offseason. We got faster. We got stronger in the weight room. We've been working. So we just got, we got, a, got, got a good month of fall camp to work on to see where we're going to be at this year. We're trying to be a dominant defense, so we just got to put in work for fall camp. Is there a hunger off of last year? I mean, you guys, for, for a lot of you, didn't play the way you really would have wanted it. Is there kind of a chip on the shoulder to, to prove that you, you can play at a higher level than that? Of course. Last year is last year, though. We just focused on the new season. In 20, 2015, Boise State, it's all different. So now we're just focusing on fall camp, and we were about week one. And that's that. Okay. You guys spring. What would you do this summer to try to build on that? Same thing, just getting faster, getting stronger, uh, work, listening to Pitt, um, working on my agility and everything, you know, just trying to become a better athlete, getting ready for fall camp now, uh, training my mind, getting ready for the season. Confidence-wise, what? how do you feel coming into this camp maybe from a year ago with, with the experience and things you had last year? Uh, knowledge. Knowledge is a little bit better than it was when I was younger. Um, as a, Going into my junior year, I know a little bit more the playbook. I kind of know what to expect as far as the schedule of fall camp, knowing that it could be hard on the body and mentally and physically. So now I'm a little bit more prepared for fall camp. Coach Yates was talking about the, the big plays and trying to limit those. I think you guys gave up eight touchdowns, like 50 yards or something. What? How do you limit the big plays? I mean, is it just going to happen on defense sometimes, or what's the key there? Uh, just listening to coaching, uh, keeping your eyes on your cues, and it's just all mental. We got to train it into our, program it into our bodies and just play and have fun to relax. Where do you feel like you've gotten improved the most since the season ended for your game? Uh, I, I definitely said the mental, as, mental aspect of the game, just more focus and more overall knowledge of the system. For you personally, what's the feeling going into the game? Are you excited? Are you nervous? What's going through your head? I'm excited. I'm always excited. You know, going out there, you smell the grass coming off the field. I mean, it's just... It's like when you're a little kid playing in wreck, it's the first day out at practice. It's all the same. Goosebumps are still there. Um, we got a lot of young guys that came in. Get to see them get after it, and um, we'll see how the, how the defense is looking, and we'll see how we compete with the offense today. You say you want to be defense, you know, dominant, and, and obviously you have a lot to work on. But do you feel like with the talent you have there, I mean, you you can't. This can be a dominant defense if you guys play to your potential. We got players. We have a lot of players. A lot of players that came in. A lot of returning players. But then again, I, I still feel like last year is last year, and we're just gonna put that behind us and worry about the new 2015 season. You and Dante. Are expectations a, a bad thing, though? I mean, does it kind of make you realize what you guys might be capable of this season? Say that one more time. Are expectations a bad thing? Does it, does it kind of make you guys what, realize what you might be capable of, your, what your potential might be this season? It's not a bad thing at all. It's just something that we don't worry about. We try to not listen to the media say this and that. We just focus on fall camp right now, and then we're going to be worried about week one. That's how, that's, how you, that's how you play the game. Focus on one week at a time, not looking too far ahead. And don't worry about the past. You have behind you and Dante, and it's a whole bunch of guys who've never played college football before. How, how much responsibility do you guys have to take, you know, over the next month to, to make sure those guys are ready to play and, and help them get ready? We try to be leaders in the room. Um, try to help those guys out. That's what the older guys did when I was a freshman. They try to teach me the playbook and teach me the ropes. So they're they're listening. They're listening. They're learning a lot. So they'll be they'll be all right. How important is this year for you? I mean, you obviously played a little bit as a freshman. Uh, started you know a few games last year, but I mean, what, what does your junior year mean to you? Is it a chance for you to you know really be a part of this defense and, and be a leader, I guess? Yeah, I, I feel like I have to step up and be a leader in the secondary, being that um, Dante and Darian are seniors. You know they'll be leaving after the season, so I'll just continue to work hard and just take take uh, take the season and slow as it goes, one game at a time. And just God willing, I'll be good. This uh, defensive staff seemed to kind of uh, bring a confidence back to you guys or emphasize confidence last year. How eager are you to kind of build off you know, what, what you learned from last year and, and you know, the building blocks that were put in place with this new staff? Um, the new staff is great. They just it, We just focus on having great energy and coming out every day to get better. And as far as you, as long as you do that, I mean, if you come out with a great attitude when you step onto the blue and you listen to, the, listen to your coaches, take the coaching tips in the meetings and when you go out there and you execute it, you'll get better over time. I promise you, you will. What, in your first real season last year, kind of playing a full college football season, what was your number one takeaway from that experience? Hmm, that's a good question. Um, I'll just say 
Yeah, wait, 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 say it one more time. You, you, your number one, you know, your first college football season, playing, you know, wire to wire. What was your number one takeaway? I don't know if it, you know, the grind, mentally, physically, uh, technique. I don't know what it might have been, but your, your, your number one takeaway. I would just say capitalizing on opportunities. That's that's just short and short and sweet. Capitalizing on opportunities.